Hello guys, Brad here again with another video. Today I want to talk about cult following in the fragrance community. And I thought this would be a good idea for a video because often when I hear my name brought up in the fragrance community, people talk about me having a cult following, which I suppose kind of makes me like the Hare Krishna of fragrance reviewers or something like that. But seriously, um, I think what's going on here is that you know, certain reviewers like myself have... Uh, been around for a while and have done quite a few videos and are well known in the fragrance community but for some reason don't have a very strong following uh, compared to other reviewers with similar um, amount of uh, content and uh, video output so I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a list of five reviewers my top five uh, fragrance reviewers with what I consider to be a cult following um, and these are mostly older reviewers, reviewers that I've basically started off liking, you know, early on in my fragrance journey. And if you have, you know, a, a video reviewer that you think is great and has sort of like a cult following, please comment down below and let's get a good discussion going here on this topic. Um, my number five is Ash, Ash4245. He's been around for a while. He basically became a relatively famous uh, overnight uh, sensation when he uh, went into his bathroom one day, opened up his medicine cabinet, and just started whipping out bottles and talking like crazy about all these fragrances that he had. Called them the world's greatest fragrances. You know, things like Beverly Hills Polo Club, things like that. Uh, he talked about Le Male, and that uh, started a craze as well. So, And he still does videos from time to time. A lot of it's about Asperger's syndrome and politics, but occasionally he'll talk about fragrances. And uh, for some reason, his channel never really took off uh, like I had expected it to. I think he has about 540 uh, subscribers right now. And I still subscribe to him, and I enjoy watching his videos from time to time, especially when they're fragrance-related. Um, another reviewer that I think uh, deserves to be in the top time, top uh, five is I am Joey Cannoli 835 subscribers now he is an interesting fellow young guy um, he became famous because uh, his mom usually talks about you know his videos in the background you never see her face so it's kind of interesting he has a very interesting relationship with his mother and they kind of go back and forth with each other and insult each other and things like that and uh, you know he talks about fragrances from time to time hasn't done a review in a while but uh, I really enjoyed his channel and I uh, think he would definitely be considered a cult favorite in the fragrance community um, another reviewer is Teresa her channel name is Arist Calm I'll have that spelling down below uh, she's a female reviewer very quirky and has masculine taste in fragrances I really enjoyed her channel um, back in the day when she was doing a lot of videos, hasn't really posted anything in a while. I think she may have gotten married and kind of got out of it, but, uh, uh, 1300 or so subscribers. And I think that's uh, a disgrace. I think more people need to subscribe to her channel, even if uh, she doesn't put out any more videos, at least, uh, see what she's done in the past because she's been great and, uh, has been quite helpful in my opinion. Uh, another reviewer is, uh, Anthony. The Sick Man 1977. Uh, his channel name right now is Anth CC. Again, I'll put that down below. Doesn't even have 500 subscribers, and he at one point was my favorite. Uh, he was doing contests. Uh, he had characters, great taste, and great output. Kind of reminded me of Christo a little bit. So I think if you liked Chris, Christo, you probably like uh, Isaac as well. Uh, check out his channel if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, I'll put these uh, names and links down below. And finally, uh, Guinea 54, um, Polly, and uh, 1,300 or so subscribers. Uh, he was great. Um, just uh, the everyman fragrance reviewer. Uh, basically liked his designers more than his niche. And if, you know, he had a niche and he thought it was, you know, overpriced, he wouldn't hesitate to say so. Maybe that caused some problems in the fragrance community, but... Uh, I really thought he was great, and I uh, really miss his presence. So those are five. I urge you to check them out if you haven't already. Um, these cult uh, fragrance reviewers that uh, have done so much for the community and haven't gotten the love. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.